Welcome to AutoBot YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn something more about task capture feature in UiPath. In the last video, we have seen how you can create a document using task capture and how you can sync that with the test manager and how you can convert that to the manual steps in the test manager, right? So today we are going to learn more about task capture and how you can manually create the flow and how you can convert that to an XML file and what is the uses of using this task capture in your automation journey okay so before uh, going to all the steps let me go to the introduction or the document which is uh, provided by UiPath to understand the task uh, capture feature okay so UiPath task capture is a process discovery tool that helps you deep dive into automation ideas enabling you to quickly capture, enhance and accelerate the automation by uh, sharing the uh, species of your work. <coughs> okay, so just consider like uh, if you are part of one uh, project, okay, and in your project, there are some manual tasks which you are repeatedly doing, okay, and but you don't know how much efficient that particular work and how much uh, time it will take if you are going to automate the process and how much beneficial or uh, time saving that uh, process will be right so for doing that what you can do instead of capturing screenshots manually and preparing a document you can use this task capture right because here with the task capture in the last video we have seen you can directly capture all the steps or the events which you are performing and the task capture will clearly take a screenshot and there itself you can add the title and the description right so you won't miss any uh, particular point or any uh, page and you can add up all the uh, steps which is part of that automation process right and you will be getting a detailed PDD process definition document which includes what is the total time involved in that automation process and what are the different activities involved and what are the different pages or the screenshots involved in that particular automation right so if you are business a list and you are reviewing like where all you can implement the automation what you can do you can capture the manual process which you are doing and you can send that to the coe or to the development automation development team for the review purpose right so from there they need to understand like how complex that process is and how feasible it is and uh, how much effort uh, we need to uh, spend for uh, doing that automation and how boastful that process will be like if you are automating we should get some return uh, uh, with that automation right so all these things we can easily define using this task capture right so this will help for the process discovery uh, stage right like uh, if we before implementing or to push that to automation stage and for getting the approval this uh, task capture will help you to discover the different automation uh, possibilities in your project right so you can easily document it and you can send that to the higher management for the review and you can get the approval and push that to the next level of automation right so that is a one main benefit of this task capture so it will just speed up the automation process which is happening in your project okay now uh, once you identify potential automation candies in automation hub use task capture to provide the expertise about the particular task and help you speed up the automation okay so this is the same point which i just mentioned now but here uh, there is one uh, word they have used that is automation hub okay so uh, automation hub is nothing but it's a collaborative process identification automation pipeline management and process repository Okay, so this is nothing but like uh, in automation hub, I will be doing a separate video for this automation hub. So in this automation hub, if there are different uh, tasks that need to be automated, what you can do, you can upload the different scenarios. Okay, so that means collaborative process identification, though you can uh, 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 keep all the processes that can be automated. Okay, then you can create the pipeline for uh, the management team to understand like what are the uh, automation possibilities okay and uh, there you can keep all the process uh, uh, repository like uh, uh, if you have any document or something for the review purpose you can keep it over there and the higher officials can review all the automation tasks from the automation hub 
Okay, so that, that is the purpose of a automation hub. So uh, this task capture will help to speed up the automation process by capturing different documentation and pushing that to the automation hub. Okay, so I will be uh, doing a clear cut video on the automation hub in the coming uh, sessions. Uh, okay, so please do subscribe and uh, for our channel to get more updates on the latest features in UiPath. Okay, and uh, these are the different installation process and all. Uh, so we already did that in the last video. And here one uh, good thing which I noticed is what are the benefits of uh, using this task capture? So th this task capture is following a data driven approach. Okay, so the app gathers the data required to accelerate the automation by bridging the gap between two groups of business persons. Okay, so either it can be SMEs or subject matter experts and the uh, center of excellence team. Okay, so it means like um, uh, so the SMEs will be aware about like what are the different process that is happening uh, in that project. So because they are the subject matter uh, experts, right? But to uh, implement uh, the automation as uh, uh, part of the COE, what you have to do, you have to properly gather all the data which is relevant for that, and you need to send that to the approval for uh, implementing the automation solutions in your automation, right? So this will help. To uh, uh, combine the work of two uh, groups, or it will help to bridge the gap between two groups by easing the uh, efforts for creating the proper documentation and for uh, bringing the proper knowledge to the COE team. Okay, eliminate manual work, capture automatically and in the background the details of each step. Uh, that we know like uh, if you are using the capture functionality in task capture it will capture all the uh, actions that you are performing as well as with a proper screenshot right and it will create a proper documentation so it will help to manually uh, it will help to resolve the uh, time consumption for manually taking the screenshot and the preparation of a document generate the necessary rp documentation based on the correct information they have generated ready made pdds and automation prototypes okay so this is uh, one great advantage because it will uh, clearly prepare a uh, good pdd document which we will be having all the mandatory details okay and it is customizable like based on your project requirement you can customize it and uh, flexibility the tool works across the entire your platform and is a perfect fit for either top down or bottom up automation strategy okay so this uh, particular platform or the uh, uh, task capture will work on all the uipath platform which is currently available and you can adopt this particular tool for uh, both kind of automation strategies okay either it can be top down or from a higher to lower or from lower to higher uh, level uh, strategies okay so these are few benefits about uh, task capture and uh, i hope you got some idea about this task capture and how it will be useful because if you are attending an interview uh, for an R rp uh, developer post there can be questions like where you can use this uh, task capture or maybe you are attending for a business analyst role uh, there can be questions like uh, where you can use this uh, task capture and how it will be helpful okay so you can mention all these points which we just uh, discussed now okay and few more things that we are going to see now okay for uh, uh, let me open up the task capture and i'm going to uh, create a new document uh, no okay so here if you click on uh, create a new document it will ask two things build diagram as well as capture process so we have seen uh, the details about this capture process in the last video so this capture process is nothing but it will directly create uh, directly record the actions which you are performing on any application right build diagram is nothing but it will help you to create a flow based on uh, your uh, process and after that you can add up the uh, steps to each of that flow i will show you how we can do that so this capture process we already covered in the last video so i am not going uh, to that and if you want uh, to get any uh, <coughs> guide or any documentation related to this uh, uh, task capture you can uh, view these uh, documents or even from home also you can navigate okay from help uh, you'll be getting uh, the navigation to academy as well as to the product documentations okay so that's it and here i'm going to click on build a diagram okay so here by default it will be having a empty sequence okay so 
uh, this is one empty sequence okay to this empty sequence you can capture uh, the steps that is required so it will capture the screenshot as well as you can add the title and the description but just consider like if you have a complex process okay so before recording what you need to do you need to enter each and every detail each and every details in the sense like you need to create a frame right you need to create a template and inside the template only you need to add all the steps which is required to be part or to include as part of that automation right so um, uh, just consider this is a sequence okay just uh, if i just want to add one more sequence what i can do i can just click on this and if i want to add one condition okay i can add this add decision okay so just consider if this is an automation uh, loading process okay and loading process and here i'm going to uh, um, what okay so here i'm just logging into one application okay and in this particular stage i'm going to uh, get some value from that uh, employee okay so currently i'm logging with autobot okay and uh, inside that autobot i'm going to see um, the total mark which i received for uh, for one particular subject okay so getting the value of a subject okay so here you you will have to automate the login process then again you will have to go to the next page and you need to get some value by doing uh, some uh, action and once you get that value here you are going to add some conditions okay so add some conditions in the sense um, just consider like if you are getting a value as 50 okay or 60 okay so the value which is above 50 you can consider it as a, a grade or if it is less than 50 you can consider it as a b grade okay it's just a uh, simple explanation okay and if it is a b grade or a grade you will have to perform some steps okay so what i'm going to do add a sequence over here and if uh, it is uh, less than uh, 50 i will have to do some particular steps right uh, mark less than 50 okay then marker greater than 50 marker less than 50 okay so uh, then you'll have to do some stage and you need to end the automation okay so that's the automation uh, process let me drag and drop this and here you can see end and here also you can add the end stage okay so this is just the flowchart representation of the automation process that you're going to do and inside this each stage you can add or you can capture the process okay so just consider like if i want to capture something <coughs> click on capture so this is login process right so i'm clicking on start capture and uh, just consider if our application is UI bank. Capture all the steps. So just click on start capture. Click on username. Enter the username. Then click on password. Okay, then click on sign in button. Okay, so now the signing got completed and here you can see it has captured nine actions and uh, let me do one thing let me click on stop and complete the uh, recording and here uh, what has happened okay here we are clicking then we are entering some value okay then we are clicking on back button which is not required so I am just deleting that okay and then okay so that's it our uh, process got recorded uh, successfully so like this way uh, so currently inside the login process i recorded all these steps and for getting the value of a subject if you want to record something you can capture that particular page and the actions okay like this way you can um, create the workflow okay and if you want to export this as an xml file what you want to do just click on file uh, click on export 
and either you can export it as a word file that we already seen in the last video or if you want to export that as a jpeg for an high level discussion like if you want to send that to some higher management as a jpeg or if you want to include that as part of a video or uh, your presentation you can convert that to a jpg file and if you want to convert that to a uh, xml file what you can do just click on uipath studio then okay then click on save it will ask to replace yes okay then you can see it is trying to open the same flow inside a uipath studio and the process got completed click on open file Okay, it is uh, creating the workspace. Uh, it will, actually it will uh, take some time. Okay, so uh, here what is happening? Like you created a flow in a task capture, and the processes or the Viper Studio itself is converting that flow diagram to an uh, automation workflow. Right. So for the conversion, it will uh, take some time. It has to download all the required uh, dependency, and it has to convert all the uh, uh, flows which you created in the flow diagram to a workflow right okay so now you can see our process got opened and let me open up this sequence okay here we can see these are the steps which it has captured with the screenshot okay so this is how you can create uh, the uh, flow flow diagram and you can uh, uh, capture the screenshots using the task capture and you can convert that to an xml okay so all the actions which you uh, captured will get uh, saved here and if you want to change some target or any data you can modify uh, as how we are doing the normal process okay so i hope you are clear about uh, the topics that we uh, clear, uh, covered today so we discussed about uh, what is task capture and how you can convert a flow diagram to a uh, uipath workflow and how to create the uh, flow diagram in the task capture so all these points that we have uh, covered and i have given a brief about automation hub also so in the coming videos i will be doing uh, a session about autom automation hub so please do watch all our videos to get more clarity on the advanced feature with the ui path okay so thanks for watching the video if you find this video useful please like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye